looks like Eddie Gregory there, doesn't it, uh, Floyd? And the, uh, the man to be introduced. Here's Jack yeah. Brammy again. Yeah. 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 I'd like to introduce to you some of the fighters of past and present. With us in the ring right now, a young middleweight, one of the hottest comers in the middleweight division, just coming off a big, clean knockout over top-rated Cyclone Hart. Here he is, Eddie Gregory. Eddie Gregory. Also with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest fighters, pound for pound of all time, 246 fights, the great Will of the Wisp, Willie Pep. Willie Pep, ladies and gentlemen. Great, great featherweight champion. What a boxer. You saw him fight, didn't you, Floyd? And oh, with yes, us tonight, he's considered the greatest Latin champion of all time. Puerto Rico should be very proud of former lightweight champion, Carlos Ortiz. Here comes Willie Pep. Here's Willie. Says hello to Moyer. Also, I would like to introduce to you, here's Willie Pep, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Ortiz on his way into the ring. Here comes Carlos coming up the steps. The greatest Latin fighter that ever lived, is. Carlos Ortiz. Also with us tonight, a man that is considered the uncrowned light heavyweight champion of the world. He's boxing for the title on October 1st in London, England, from Mendoza, Argentina, Jorge Ahumada. A big hand for Jorge. Jorge. Ahumada. Here we go with the main event of the evening, 10 rounds. Your judges for the main event are Jack Gordon and Harold Letterman. Timekeeper Fred Abatello and counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Joe Santarpia. Referee for our main event, Arthur Mercanti. Coming from Portland, Oregon. Wearing black and white trunks, weighing in at 160 and three quarter pounds. He's defeated seven world champions and is the former junior middleweight champion of the world. Let's give a big hand for Denny Moyer. Denny Moyer. And his opponent, born in Bari, Italy, now residing in Brooklyn, New York, wearing red and white trunks, weighing in at 161 pounds even, the hottest fighter in the middleweight division today, Vito Antuofelmo. Referee Arthur McCanny with his instructions. Good evening, Denny and Vito. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. We expect you to obey these rules, and I'll be here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. When I say break, you must break. You will be penalized for any legal blows. Shake hands now, return to your corners. Good luck. You know, Danny Moya has a lot, a lot of experience, much more than Antifermo. Oh, he's had 131 fights, Lloyd. But I think that they're depending on Antifermo's youth, determination, and his strength to win this one, because I definitely don't think it's experience. I think the last time uh, Danny Moya fought in Madison Square Garden, he defeated Ray Robinson, because Ray was near yeah. the end of the trail then, but he did defeat him. Moyer in the black trunks with the white stripe, and Tefermo the red trunks with the green and white stripe. It's hard to believe, Floyd, that at the end of, at the age of 19, Moyer fought Don Jordan for the welterweight title. That was in 1959, 15 years ago. Is that right? I broadcast it. Arthur McCanty, the referee. Again, the same rules, scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even in an official's card. Also, if a man is floored out or near the ringing of the bell, he must arise by the count of 10, even though the bell has sounded. Cannot be saved by the bell, except in the last round. Now 
here we have a man with 26 fights, Antifermo, against a man with 131 fights, Denny Moyer. Moyer has fought them all. Griffith, Robinson, Rodriguez, Ron Jordan. One minute to go in round one. Thirty seconds to go on the round. the bell ending round one. Just a reminder, if you missed Evil Knievel's Snake River Canyon jump shown earlier tonight on Home Box Office, then stay tuned. The entire two-hour show will be repeated immediately following our main event, which is this bout. Evil Knievel Snake River Canyon jump right here on Home Box Office right after this fight. Denny Moya, Born in Portland, Oregon, August 8th, 1939. 35 years old, five feet eight in height. He's had 131 fights, winning 94, losing 33, four draws, 23 knockouts, and he himself was stopped five times. In the corner with him is longtime trainer, Danny Rodriguez, and his father on the outside of the ropes, Harry Moyer. Danny also had a brother, Phil, who fought years ago, but retired. Round two. Round two, Moyer in the black trunks with the white stripe, and Tefermo in the red trunks with the green border. And the white stripe down the side. And is a very aggressive fighter, very fast, and now is being warned for holding behind the head by the referee, Arthur McCanty. He's not only, <clears throat> excuse me, very aggressive, Don, but he also has an awful lot of heart. Antifermo. Yes, oh, I've yes. seen him in some rugged fights. Oh, yes. You know, the only loss on his record that was to Harold Weston Jr., a fight we did on home box office, Floyd. And that night, he had a very good chance of winning the fight, but he got cut, and the fight was stopped, if you remember. Yes, Don, I remember. <laughs> Moyer making good use of his left jab. Beaten to the punch, paid for it. to go. Floyd, have you noticed how fast that left hook of Andefermo is? Uh, yes, Don, Very I'm fast. watching it. His hands, for some reason or another, seem, they seem a lot faster now than what they were in his previous fights. I think he's fighting a little more confidently, too. Oh, 
half a minute to go in the round. Connor of Vito Antifermo, born in Barry, Italy, February 9th, 1952. He now lives in Brooklyn. He's 22, 13 years younger than his opponent. Vito stands five feet seven and a half. Tonight he's wearing, weighing 161. Vito has had 26 fights, winning 25 of them with one loss. A loss to Harold Weston Jr. on cuts. He scored 10 knockouts. In the corner with him is manager Tony Cattione, Race Garica, his trainer, and Willie Felis. Tony Carrione's on the left hand side, Race Garica's on the outside, and Willie Felis in the middle. Don, when was uh, Danny Moyer's last fight, do you know? Well, I guess he's been fighting right along. Uh, Right. I don't know just when his last one was, but I don't think this is any layoff or comeback. Uh, I think he, he's kept fighting. Well, that's what I wanted to know, whether yeah. or not he was keeping busy or I would imagine is this a comeback. So. He's been fighting out in the Midwest and in, uh, and in Las Vegas and the far west and not on the coast, but not in the east. The last fight in the garden, I think, was 1963. Moyers in the black trunks and Antifermo in the red. Arthur McCanty, the referee. And left hook of Antifermo's is just a little bit too fast for Denny. Uh, you can see as the fight progresses in each round, Antifermo is losing respect more and more as the fight progresses for his opponent, Moyer. Oh, he's just walking in on him now. Getting quite a going over in this round, Floyd. Uh, yes, he is. The only effective punch I've seen of Moyes is a right hand so far. I haven't seen a left hook or, or anything else but a right hand. to go in the round. Get back. Get back. About 20 seconds to go in round three of a 10 rounder. All at Madison Square Garden on home box office. Another reminder, next week we've got twin brothers fighting twin brothers here in the Felt Forum of Madison Square Garden. They're calling it Family Night. Two sets of brothers will battle it out in eight rounders. 
in the feature rate, Frankie Benitez meets Bobby Hughes, and Bobby's twin brother, Wilfredo, takes on Al Hughes. <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't get this. Hey, Floyd. Yeah. I'm going to let you read this next time. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take a look at this last round where we watch Antifermo when he catches Moy, I believe, with a left right. Then he'll move to the side and catch them with another left. I believe it's all over. I'll be all over if I read that thing again, Floyd. I'm going to let you read it once, just for the fun of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, twin brothers, the Benitos, Benitezes, are meeting the users. <laughs> Next Monday night on Home Box Office. See for yourselves. Danny Moyer in the black trunks. Vito Antifermo in the red trunks. seems very unsure of himself. Well, he's up against a tough customer, Floyd. Well, that, that also, but that's why I asked you, was it a comeback? Uh, had he no. retired and came back? I don't think so. He's been fighting. I see his name every so often in the paper. You know, he's got to fight somewhere. If you'll notice, when he throws his punches, he doesn't throw them with confidence. Almost as if he's feeling rather than throwing. Tagged a looping right hand to the jaw that did him no good. He was always a stand-up boxer with a classic style, Floyd. He's still got the style. But after 131 <laughs> bouts, uh, a lot of it's gone out of him. You know, he's got those hands up the way you like to see a fighter fight. Uh, yes. But what I'm complaining about is the way he throws them out. Right, right. He doesn't throw them out with confidence. Wow. Antifermo's hey. adherents are chanting Vito, Vito. Half a minute to go in the round. And of Farmo's hands are very fast. Ending round four here at Madison Square Garden. Danny Moyer is sitting down in his corner. He's had a rough journey through four year rounds, hasn't he, Floyd? Oh, uh, yes, he has. He's been constantly trying to get out of the way by going back. He's caught some good ones, too. I've looked at this sheet again about the Benitezes and the users, Floyd. And I've decided it wasn't written right. I'm not reading it again, and I'm not going to let you read it either. Well, could you, you can thank me for that. Can you explain it? Well, yes. Without reading it? Yeah. Uh, Frankie Benitez is going to fight Bobby Hughes. And Wilfredo Benitez is fighting Al Hughes. Yeah. See? That's not the way it reads on the paper. But anyway, it's a double header. But we're saying both.